I'm Sean Phillipson from the East Gippsland Catchment Management Authority and I love our lakes. Blue green algae are a, are a natural part of the Gippsland Lake system like they are all wetlands and estuarine systems. Algae are a real driver of productivity in aquatic systems so they're the base of the food chain. So they feed our smaller animals which feed our fish which feed our large scale predators like dolphins and our sea eagles. So algae are an important part of that system. They certainly do have impacts. They can impact things like seagrass and they certainly impact the ability of people to visit and enjoy the lakes but it's important to know that there's a balance there. So whilst there might be uh, impacts on users of the lakes, they are really playing an important role uh, in the functioning and driving the productivity within the lake system. Algae happens generally seasonally and some of the work that's been done has shown that blue-green algae blooms occurred in the lakes uh, right into the both the recent and the more um, distant past. So core work that's been done uh, in the sediments of the lakes show that blue-green algae blooms occurred uh, both before and after the entrance was open. We now have different types of algae. Um, with a permanent entrance opening, we now tend to have a more saline tolerant species of algae as well. It's certainly something that's been going on for a long period of time, long before the recorded history of Europeans.